from the Northern Hemisphere to the Southern Hemisphere, from the US to New Zealand, Detroit to Nelson. It doesn't matter where I am, as long as I'm on my bike, an epic adventure is just outside my front door. Since I moved to New Zealand, I've wanted to explore the legendary Molesworth Station, and I cannot think of a better way to get there than the Rainbow Road. Two beautiful and rugged four-wheel drive tracks that cross some of the most remote sections of the South Island. I also get the joy of introducing my friend Cassandra to bikepacking. Everything I say is going to be stupid. She's going to ride with me from Nelson, where we live, to the end of the Rainbow Road. And to top it all off, I'm going to try and accomplish this 500 kilometers of bikepacking without using a car at all. It's about 3.30. We started at 8.30, so, I don't know, seven hours so far. It's been a big day. We got a long way to go still. At the top of our very first major climb, Kerr Hill Road. This is a serious hour of uh, pedaling. This is Cassandra's first ever bike tour, or bike packing anything. I bet she is hurting bad. Pretty high spirits, that's a tough lady, so she'll pull through, I'm sure of it. Top of the first major hill. I definitely sandbag Cassandra today. Unfortunately, I think she's having a real bad time. Positive attitude. Gotta give it to her for that. I think she'll persevere, but we are not getting to that hut tonight. We are gonna be probably camping soon. Cause it's just been a rough day. Way worse than anticipated. Well, we made it to the hut, as you can see. Yesterday didn't really go as planned. Um, what yesterday started like... I'm not gonna cry! What yesterday ended like... It is 9.30. We decided we should press on. We definitely got in a little bit over our heads and I certainly sandbagged Cassandra quite a bit. She kept a pretty positive attitude for the most part. I'll just yell a little bit, but no crying and it's okay. And we rode maybe three hours in the dark on the Rainbow Road. You're riding up a muddy road in the middle of the night. It got pretty weird. Bike lights are dead, spirits are dead. Everything is dead. There's a lot of mud and sadness. Uh, it was slick. There was a full blown like river crossing, wet feet, cold toes, and then it started raining a little bit. So I really didn't film as much as I wanted to yesterday. It was a pretty full on day. I kind of assumed yesterday would be a much more chill day on the road and a lot less hills. And just the section between Nelson and St. Arnaud was way hillier than I expected it to be in the first place. I had a great time once I was warm in the sleeping bag. But this is Connors Creek Hut. And uh, from here, we're going to carry on to uh, past Hamner. And we're going to get onto the Molesworth today. And we are going to camp up there. So looking forward to a good day of riding on the Rainbow Road. point for the day, Island Saddle, also known as Island Sad. Island Sad, so sad. That's where Cassandra is. I'm on an island of sadness. An island of sadness. <laughs> I, on the other I hand, have a, have a waffle, so I'm in an island of waffles. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm also on an island of waffles then. I had to walk about a third of that hill. When I look back though, I saw Cassandra pedaling. I was 
was trying. She's a savage. <laughs> or dumb. Both. <laughs> Equally. <laughs> dumb savage. <laughs> <laughs> My feet are finally warm. It's been hours. Still wet though. Oh, man. They'll never be dry. There's so many rivers. Anyways. Got a lot of downhill coming. I'm looking at that feeling real good. Make up some of that lost time. <laughs> Well, new record for this trip. Uh, we got to camp before it was completely dark. The sun is set for sure, but uh, you know, no headlamps yet. Just gotta find some water and we're gonna pitch the tent. Look at that, there's a picnic table. <laughs> After 10 hours of sleeping, lots of rain, I might be ready to ride again today. We made it onto the Molesworth Road. I think for the, today, I have like 30, 35 miles of uphill. And Cassandra's going to Hanner Springs and going home. I'm going home. Because she's got a real job. I'm going home. She's got a real ass job. Gotta go make coffee. So, uh, yeah, it's just gonna be me from here on out. I hope the uh, weather doesn't get worse. But it looks like there's a little sun in the sky, and I think it's gonna be a good day. Seems like as soon as my shoes dry, they just get wet again. It's, it did start raining. It was like, as soon as I was ready to pack up and leave, it started raining. So I'm gonna carry on to Blenheim. And Cassandra is going to a hot spring. Snacks. And then a car. And then a car. Back to Nelson. I only have to bike 25 more kilometers. <laughs> That's it. Inclement weather on this trip so far. Not a lot of, a lot of night riding as well, but it's what you get sometimes. Could be worse. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Well, I'm getting very weather lucky. I've been just, you know, out running a storm for like the last two days straight. Just behind me, it's been raining. It definitely rained this morning, but it looks like I'm officially getting the sunglasses out for the day, putting a little sunscreen on. It's, it might rain later, I don't really know, but uh, right now I'm really enjoying the sunshine, these views. Molesworth is pretty sweet. I'm feeling good. The hunger has awoken. I am very hungry today. Little snack. I have quite a bit of climbing left. 30 miles, roughly, all day. 50 kilometers ish. And then we'll be camping. So. Honestly, I was initially so excited that the sun had come out. I didn't even really register that there was quite a headwind. So, uh, yeah, I'm moving slow. It's packing in. Got some weather coming my way. I want to take a moment and eat lunch and uh, get ready to get my ass kicked on this pass with a headwind in the rain. Um, you know, so glad I put sunscreen on. It's gonna be, it's gonna be an adventurous day. I might, I might put the camera away for a bit. If you seriously hate a cyclist, what you need to do is give them a pedaling uphill on mud, headwind, and rain to top it. That's what I've been doing for the last three hours. I got near the pass and uh, it started thunder and lightning and 
in the back of my mind, there's always that concern of sometimes when you get up and over a pass, it gets a lot worse. And uh, I was concerned that maybe it would be worse on this side. Good news, it was the same for a while. And as soon as I got to camp, the sun came out and it finally stopped raining. It was a pretty tough ride. Honestly, I'm, I'm glad Cassandra went home today. She would have hated that so much. Um, usually, you know, it's nice to hang out with your friends, but <laughs> glad I was alone on that. It was a little sketchy with the thunder and lightning. I don't see that that often here in New Zealand, but now I have camp set up. It's somewhat sunny. There's some more clouds building, but for right now we're happy, damp, and at camp. <laughs> It's, uh, it's still raining. It's been raining all night. I've snoozed so many times today. I just, I just don't want to get out of bed. It's cold and wet. If being in a sleeping bag doesn't make you giddy and excited like a little child, you're a serial killer. That's the bottom line. Crawling into this thing brings me so much joy. I think I'm going to be cooking my breakfast in the tent today, which is generally a no-no. I don't want to burn my tent down, but it's so wet it can catch on fire anyways, so it doesn't matter. I found another campsite that's about 86 kilometers away versus 120 to Blenheim. That might be the option today. We'll see how wet things are. 120 would be nice, cover a lot more distance for the day after, but I don't know. Riding in a headwind with rain for another day in a row doesn't sound as appealing, so we'll see. We'll see how tough and muddy the road is. And let's get some coffee. Maybe the day will feel easier after a cup of coffee. Don't tell the backpacking version of me that I carry a pillow when I go bikepacking. He'll get jealous. This weight's not really an issue on a bike. So I can bring luxury items like pillows. Those are wet and very cold. Oh, if only I actually brought camp shoes when I went bikepacking. There's a gram weenie deep down inside of everyone. Yeah. I think I just pretty much out of fuel at this stage. I don't think I have enough to cook dinner. I definitely don't have enough to cook breakfast. I'm out of snacks after today. So it looks like we're pretty much gonna have to ride to Blenheim, because we need food. I kind of planned to ride to Blenheim today, therefore I planned only enough food to get me to Blenheim. So if I took an extra night, it'd be kind of tricky. So, I don't know. The coffee tastes good, the breakfast is ready. The tent is almost packed. And soon we'll get back on the bike and we're gonna ride to Blenheim. Today, the views have exceeded my expectations greatly. 
way more beautiful today than I thought. I thought I'd just be riding out of some old farm area. The other thing that exceeded my expectation was the amount of hills. A bit shattering, still had a headwind, on and off drizzle, but it was really beautiful that on the tops of the mountains, there was snow from last night, it was rain, and maybe the day before. It's rained every single night on this trip so far. So I'm not gonna be surprised if I get to camp tonight and it rains again. Not gonna lie, things got a little bit dark for a second there. I dropped one of my snacks while I was peeing. And I peed on it. The hills just were relentless. The rain would come and then it would stop after I packed everything away. Then the hills and the sweat and then, oh my God. I mean, I'm being a little baby for sure, but God. Put an AirPod in for the first time on the entire trip. But good morale boost, but even better so. I had dropped my camera case unknowingly on the side of the road. There was nothing in it, so it's not that big of a deal. But a good Samaritan picked it up and then drove it to me and gave it to me. And I was like, with good deeds like this, how could I be in a bad mood? Today was rough. Had a little takeaway, set up the tent in the dark. It's definitely raining again. It's always raining. It's always raining somewhere in New Zealand. It's gonna rain again tomorrow, most of the day, it seems like, on and off. Similar to today, but today I'm, I'm literally exhausted right now. I wish I even had the motivation to find a spot to stealth camp tonight, but instead, <laughs> I pay $25 for this holiday park. I'm too tired and dirty to shower. I don't have clean clothes that are dry, so I'm not gonna shower. And tomorrow when I get home, I'll shower. I need some food now. I'm like three hours from Havelock. This little bacon beef sandwich. It's, it's delicious looking. We'll see, it came out of a food cart that I found in the middle of nowhere. Um, lots of road riding today. Lots of rain coming. We're just gonna settle into it. This is the last day and we're gonna keep it positive. And we're gonna crank this out. I honestly can't complain. This has been a dream trip, a dream come true. I've wanted to do this for a long time. And uh, despite the weather conditions, beautiful views, excellent scenery. Met some cool people along the way, stayed in some cool spots. I do love New Zealand, and this has been a great way to see it. It's very hilly, and it's very wet here, if you're wondering. That's what I've confirmed. I've known it, but I've confirmed it, so. Got some snacks. Put the layers away. Sour gummy worms. Chorizo. Cheesy rolls. That's what we got on the menu today. We don't have that long to go, honestly. We're making decent time out on the road. Look at that. That is the good stuff. Cheese and bread together. Sign me up. So. Five days door to door, my house to my house, bike packing trip. Turns out you can have a pretty good time on a bike if you got five days just from your front door. You don't have to get all crazy with it. You don't have to fly with the bike. That's uh, the northern section of the South Island in New Zealand. And you know what? Maybe where you live, it rains a little bit less than where I live. But unfortunately, it's just a part of life down here. Thanks for checking it out.